Vikinet Network Configuration. Configuring your network setup enables you to connect and have access to your Vikinet system. To perform the setup, you must have the following information. To connect the Vikinet unit, such as a workstation, NVR, or DVR to your existing system, first make sure you are connected to your network. You need to have the new IP address, your Vikinet system's nucleus IP address, and as an option, the name for your new unit. After launching the application, you are prompted with the username and password valid to your system. First-time users can use the default admin as the username and press the login button. No password is required. Enter the main setup screen by pressing the setup button at the top of the screen. Select your unit, which will be the first in the list, and press the select button. Then enter the network setup by pressing on the network settings and site name button on the system settings screen. Under the Nucleus Settings section, remove the check indicating this site is the master nucleus and enter the correct Nucleus IP address in the respective location. A backup nucleus saves the main nucleus's settings automatically. Only the nucleus can determine who the backup nucleus is. While in the main nucleus settings, select the Use Backup Nucleus box and enter the backup nucleus IP address. That machine must have the Vikinet application running in order to become the backup nucleus. Refer to the user's manual for information on using the backup nucleus's backup settings. Under the IP address settings section, enter the unit's IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway if applicable. If your system runs with DHCP, then select the Obtain an IP address automatically option. If applicable, Make sure the correct network adapter is selected from the current network adapter list. By default, time synchronization is turned on. Every system is continuously time synchronized with the nucleus. To turn off time synchronization for your unit, simply uncheck the box. Your machine will no longer synchronize its time with the nucleus. Turning off time synchronization on the nucleus unit will turn off time synchronization throughout your Vikinet system. Note. Some megapixel and third-party cameras will require an additional time server on the network. To change the unit name in the system, press the Change Name button located at the top of the screen. Enter the new site name in the space allotted. When finished, press the OK button. A message will pop up indicating that the change will only take effect after pressing the OK button on the main network settings screen. Press the Close button to continue. Check to make sure all the new information you entered is correct and press the OK button at the bottom of the screen. The application will need to be restarted. Press OK when prompted. The application will now restart with your new network configuration. If the information was entered correctly and you are connected to the Vikinet system, then it will show the name of the Vikinet nucleus at the top left of the screen and a site list will display your Vikinet system's devices. If the system displays not connected, then you either entered incorrect network information or you are not connected to your network properly. Repeat these instructions to check the network configuration.